Apple is known for its innovations in technology and design. But, not all their products were perfect, here are a few times where Apple failed in product design. Apple made a game console. Apple collaborated with the game company Bandai to make the Pippin game machine. It turned out to be a tremendous flop. Pippin was crushed by the competitors of its time, like the Nintendo 64. The system was overpriced, for a video game console, and underpowered, for a computer, falling into a weird middle ground, that didn't really prove all that popular for consumers. This weird looking mouse was released as a match for the iMac G3. The hockey puck mouse spectacularly failed to do the one thing it was designed for, be an accurate pointing device. The shape of the product was unergonomic and unsuitable for comfortable use. But the hockey puck mouse deserves credit as the first ever Apple mouse to use the USB connectivity standard. Luckily, Apple quickly moved on to other devices, which brings us to the failed Magic Mouse 2. This futuristic looking mouse offered a smooth, touch sensitive surface to allow you to use multi finger gestures and much more. It was a revolution in pointing devices. But, it came with a huge catch the charging port for the mouse was under it. So, the mouse has to be flipped over to be charged, rendering it unusable. Every other wireless mouse on the market puts the charging port on the top or front of the mouse such that it can optionally be used in wired mode, but it seems Apple did not want to interrupt the smooth top surface. After much ridicule, Apple has currently discontinued sales of the Magic Mouse 2. The third generation iPod Shuffle was released in 2009, it was the smallest music player at that time. The iPod Shuffle was meant to let you play music in a small form factor, without a distracting screen. But, the third generation removed buttons altogether. This player does not work without its proprietary headphones, which contain the controls for the player. Luckily Apple saw its mistake and quickly brought back the buttons for the fourth generation of the iPod Shuffle. The iPhone 4 had an issue called, Antenna Gate, where the signal strength of the phone was reduced, when the phone was held in a certain position, which was simply touching the lower left edge of the phone. This was being caused by the metal body of the phone. When touched in the right places, it bridged one of the two locations which separates the two antennas, resulting in dropped calls in some areas with lower signal reception. Apple responded to this by adding a bumper case that doesn't block signals. There is nothing wrong or flawed about the Pro Stand, except for the price. Priced at 1000 US dollars, or 95,000 INR, it is meant for the Pro Display XDR, which does not support other stands, without an adapter. The problem here was, a computer monitor stand like a TV stand is something most people think of as part of the monitor, or TV, itself. Not only is this an expensive stand, but it's an extra cost for something people expect to be included. Like and subscribe for more tech news.